<laughs> you know, it's not like yesterday you were sitting in there. I know, yeah. I know. And it's, it's Brett Sidibaka and his family know all about sports injuries. As captain of his university football team, he threw himself into the game, literally. But it all ended with two concussions in 2013 that knocked him off the field and nearly cost him his education. My life took a turn. When I was at school suffering for six weeks on end in my room in the dark, not being able to leave to go to the cafeteria, to go to class, to talk with my friends, that's a really low point in your life. His parents spent the next year helping him recover. They set up an organization called One Hit Away to help athletes and families get overhead injuries. This is an injury that's invisible. People don't see a broken brain. So therefore, they don't really talk about it or, or deal with it until it happens to their own family. I found a disease. Last year's Hollywood film Concussion casts actor Will Smith as the Nigerian-American pathologist Bennett Omalu, who discovered that head injuries suffered in football games were causing depression and mental decline in former players. Opposed at first by the NFL, he's now a much sought-after public speaker. I think the movie Concussion has taken it from the depth of the valley to the mountain peak of the American psyche. Um, I think people are becoming enlightened, and um, I think we're moving forward. Last season, NFL fans were shocked when a player named Chris Borland quit in his first season after several concussions. Then the league settled a big lawsuit by former players suffering from mental illness and depression. The NFL says it's making the game safer with awareness, rule changes, and technology. That may be so, say critics, but too many young players are getting injured, and that has to change. We're having a big national conversation in this country about really what's the future of football, and the big change that we need is that kids shouldn't be playing anymore. We have to accept that this is an adult's game, it's very dangerous, and we can't be hitting five-year-olds in the head 400 times under some mystique that we're teaching them something they couldn't learn in any other way. Amid the growing awareness and publicity about head trauma, fewer players are taking to the field these days as parents keep them home or send them to less riskier pastimes. There's no doubt this country's favourite sport has to change if it's to continue being as popular as it was. Daniel Lack, Al Jazeera, Milbrae, California.